Hey, what's up guys? This is Jamo and I'm very excited to bring you another video. Today I'm doing an actual, I'm doing an interview with uh, someone who's been here in Sasua for a minute. So, and can you say, what's the name of your channel? What's up, what's up? My name is uh, Kurt Worrell. The channel actually is my name, Kurt Worrell, which is C-U-R-T. W O R R E L L. Thanks for having me, man. <laughs> yes, yes, it. definitely. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started uh, with this interview. All right, Chris, so we're going to do an interview style called Pump the Brakes. So I'm going to give you three different topics. And when okay. you hear a topic that you want to talk about, I just want you to say Pump the Brakes and, you know, tell me what you think. All right, I'm with you. I'm All with good. you. I All love right. It. Yeah, so, okay, so the first topic is sex tourism. Okay. Uh, uh, Family travel in Sasua? Pump the brakes. Okay. <laughs> what do you have to say about family right, travel well, in Sasua? Okay, so since I've been here in Sasua, um, I realized first the Sasua has this uh, the stigma of being like a sex tourist uh, location, mm -hmm. but I've seen a lot of families here. Mm. And because my whole thing is family oriented, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've been traveling with my family for a, a while now, mm. since 2010. I'm always looking to see, well, like wherever we go, I'm always looking to see whether it's safe, mm -hmm. whether, you know, my boys can, you know, flourish in mm. that in that area, mm -hmm. um, and whether or not, you know, we have family accessible things, right? Mm. And from what I've noticed here in Sisua, I noticed that, number one, it's safe. Mm. So if I need to take my send my boys out, they can go out on their own. Mm -hmm. I also noticed that um, there are different things that families can participate in. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of different restaurants and stuff like that. I, you know, if you need to get out of Sassoua and go to like Porta Plata mm -hmm. or Cabarete or something like that, you can just hop, on a, hop, hop in a taxi, you know, and get to where you need to get to. Mm. So um, as it relates to family, um, yeah, I definitely see family being able to come here. Okay. You know? All right, interesting. All right, cool. All right, so my next set of topics, uh, we have food, Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Okay. Uh, filming in Sasua. Pump the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, what do you right. have to say about okay. filming in Sasua? Okay. So, I started my YouTube channel here in Sasua, right? Mm -hmm. And I've been noticing that um, the ladies here, mm -hmm. can I say chicas? Chicas, yeah. Chicas, okay. Yeah. The chicas here, they don't necessarily like you filming <laughs> in public, yes. right? Um, as a matter of fact, I was with a friend of mine and we were sitting at a hotel not a hotel a restaurant and the hotel i mean the restaurant has like a little um you know a banister type mm -hmm. of thing where you can see the street and i was interviewing her uh and the camera was on mounted on the little banister and every time the ladies walked by the chicas walked by they were like you know no don't film me don't film me and i was like we were like no nah, we're not filming you we're yeah. not filming you and one girl Believe it or not, she actually cussed us out. Really? Thinking, yeah, she in, in English or Spanish? In Spanish. Mm, like, okay. Because she thought that we were filming her mm. and we were lying mm. that we weren't filming. Her. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. you know, to to answer that question, mm -hmm. I think filming is, you know, there's like a little uh, skill set to it. Mm -hmm. From what I understand, mm -hmm. so the person that was filming, she said, you know, if you come out early, uh, you know, you can film throughout the day yeah. and when it's like three o'clock mm -hmm. or so, you just chill. Yeah. All right. And of course, we're talking about videos if mm. you want to put your face on the video. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there are other types of videos that we're going to talk about. <laughs> oh, those the, the creep cams. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, um, you know, that's basically kind of like the way to go about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you come out early and you try to keep the shot in a way where you're not filming, uh, you know, uh, passerbys or anything like that. Mm, so, okay. yeah, filming is something that I definitely want to so tackle. Okay. Me. All right. Very good. Yeah. No, yeah. And I, I, I want to add piggyback on that. Yeah. Definitely agree that culturally here, uh, not, I'm not talking about all Dominican Republic, but definitely in Sasua, is definitely you don't want to be filming too much. I mean, you can, and there's nothing legally wrong with it, but just right. if you try to respect the culture, then it's not, not the best idea. Indeed. My next set of topics we have here, we have uh, talking about beaches. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Okay. Um, uh, travel etiquette. Pump the brakes on that one. Okay. All right. And the reason I say pump the brakes on that one is because um, that's something, travel etiquette is something that is extremely important as you venture out into different countries and that type of thing. 
it's extremely important to understand the culture and know that number one, you're visiting someone's backyard or mm. someone's home. Oftentimes, what I personally see and personally experience myself, I see, let's say, foreigners, mm. right? In whatever country, I see foreigners come into a country, and there some couple things happen. Number one, they leave their common sense. Mm at home or at the airport or whatever and they walk around like they have no common sense right mm -hmm. and number two they don't necessarily have a full respect for the culture or for the environment that they're in and what i mean by that is not necessarily disrespecting the culture but they'll go into a place and not understanding that let's say for example uh the people like for example mexico right the people in mexico they're not necessarily loud and um you know like uh, uh you know huge with their emotions mm -hmm. or anything like that okay so that area that culture might be um a little bit more subdued and so you now as a traveler in that space it's important that you understand that right because you could go into that culture and you're like super loud and super huge in, ter in terms of your action and your emotion and the culture itself the environment itself it's not like that right and i've personally witnessed that myself right uh for example you know my wife d does a painting class right and she went to this painting class and there was some other people uh, you know foreigners that's in the painting class and they were like loud and huge and big and just like you know making a bunch of noise mm -hmm. and stuff like that whereas the locals were just you know looking around like what's going on like you know but it's that's why I say it's important to understand that you know when you go into an environment when you go into a new culture just get 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 a um, you know uh, a temperature right mm -hmm. so to speak of what that culture is about and how because you can learn about stuff on the internet but when you're there it's a completely different thing and so you can flow a lot better you can fit in a lot better and you can be respected a lot more you know because sometimes when you're doing stuff or you're acting in certain ways inside of another culture it's like they'll look at you like well you know obviously you're a foreigner and then you're opening up yourself up for you know, probably exploitation or mm. something like that. Okay. You know? So, okay. All yeah. right, cool. That was a very good, very good point. Oh, yeah, guys. So that's everything, uh, all the topics we have for today. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video and hope you learned something. And also, can you say the name of your channel one more time? Kurt Worrell. That's C-U-R-T-W-O-R-R-E-L-L. -L. Thanks for having me, man. Uh -huh. I appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Peace. Peace out.